This is CryptoTube, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will show you how to stake your coins on the Trust Wallet application. Specifically, I will be showing how to stake the Carver token on it. I will be using P2P Validator. I will delegate my stake to them in a secure and non-custodial manner. So this is a way you can stake your tokens, but keep them in your wallet nice and securely. If you like the content in today's video, hit that subscribe button guys for more updates. So there are two main things to be aware of when doing this. First of all, Carver has a staking model which includes hard slashing. This means customers' funds are at risk of being slashed in the event of a double signing blocks and B, extended validator downtime. So it's therefore very important to select a reputable validator that has a good track record with doing what they say they're gonna do. A lot you may find have a higher return on investment potential, but if they're not very good and potentially miss some blocks, you could see some of your coins slashed as part of this staking methodology that Carver use. So that would negate any potential additional gains. So choosing the right validator is going to be very important. The second thing to be aware of, there is a 21 day unbonding process. So if you stake your Carver with a validator to actually come back to your wallet, uh, you will have to wait 21 days. During this 21 day period, you will not accrue any additional rewards. However, you can still have your coins slashed if the validator behaves incorrectly. So this is something to be aware of. Do your own research, know what you're getting involved with before you stake your coins, as there are obviously some negative and some downsides to this if things do go wrong. So just make sure you are aware of all those things before you get started. Next, we'll just jump into the validator that I have chosen and why. So the first thing I like to look for is, do they have a website and is it professional looking? So this is P2P Validator. Find them at p2p.org. They stake many different coins, not just Carver here. Uh, what I like about this, they are transparent. You know that they have a 10% validator fee and this is par for the course, to be honest with you. Uh, other than this, they have a Telegram as well. So if you wanna have further interaction, that is a possibility. And then down here, we can see their uptime, 100%. So we know they're reliable, 66 delegators, a total of over 5 million Carver being delegated to them. So they've put on here a 99.98% .98 uptime guarantee. Um, we know they're gonna be good from this track, track history, uh, looking through the previous data, and you can do a little bit more research of this uh, over on another website. So this website here, carver.bigdipper.live forward slash validators shows you a list of the active Carver validators. And if you just go into any of these, you can find out a lot more information um, about their uptime and about the blocks that they've processed. So this is another good method for doing a little bit more research into your validator of choice. So the other thing that I like about P2P is they've got a little rewards calculator on here as well, which is handy to see the kind of expectation of what you are going to receive. It's always nice to know what you're gonna get in advance on a rough calculation. I'm gonna be putting 673 coins in total on there. I've already put some as a test. The remainder will go on there in today's tutorial. So my holding value will give me a daily earning of around 0.1 Carva, monthly around 3.29 and yearly of almost 40 Carva tokens. And because I expect this coin to go up in value over time, these should be providing some nice returns for me. Then lastly, they do have a Twitter account for me to follow, which I am. I can also turn on the bell notifications if I want to stay up to date with everything they put out, which is a useful feature to have. Uh, so if there was, for example, any issues with Carver staking, I could stay up to date with them. On top of this, I did get a recommendation of P2P Validator from the Carver Knights on Twitter as well. So shout out to them for vouching for these guys. So I'm pretty happy with the selection I've made. Now it's time to actually show you how to delegate your stake over on the Trust Wallet. 
So this is the Trust Wallet. You'll have to download this. It is available on Android and iOS. You will get a 12 word recovery phrase to secure your account. You can set up a pin for this as well upon entry. So there's a multiple levels of security that you can have with this. And as you can see, I've deposited my 673 Carver in total onto the Trust Wallet. And so to stake, we just go into Carver. And then, as you can see, I've actually delegated 74.99 already. And then the additional coins, I've got 598 uh, spendable right now or available. I'll just add these so my total staked is the full amount. So if you just click on More, and then you'll see the option of Stake. And then it pops up with we staking as the go-to validator. Their APR is 5.85%. Um, so you may think you can't choose another validator, but if you just click into them, you then get the full repertoire of all of those that are available. Now, some of these offer slightly higher returns, but I think you're better off going with a more established, uh, safer validator than maybe some of the unknowns for the sake of what 0.6% APR over a whole year it's not really going to change your life so p2p is down here I'll click on them and then select max um, so 598 coins press next and then you've got to confirm the transaction so we can see from my wallet to p2p validator and a small network fee which is 0.001 carver and we just send those across. It's then going to be a pending transaction and in a few minutes it will actually confirm. So there we go, delegation has now taken place. My coins have gone from available over to staked. I've already got a small amount of rewards from the coins that I put in as a test just yesterday. So that's nice already. My funds are earning for themselves. So if you're going to get involved with proof of stake coins and you're going to hold them anyway, you might as well stake them. And this is a super simple method, non-custodially, to, to have your Carver stake in. So it's the same kind of process for other coins on the Trust Wallet. Very easy to do. So uh, it doesn't take much technical experience. As you've seen, what, it took me maybe 60 seconds to get that done. So a nice, simple method of proof of stake. So now I've chosen my validator and I've actually gone ahead and staked my coins with them. I've shown you the full process here. Very easy and intuitive. If you like the content in today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And additionally, if you've seen the previous video where we staked our coins on Carver, just down here, if you haven't, go and check it out. We've got half of our Carver tokens on Binance and half of our coins on the Trust Wallet. In one to two months, we will do a recap video and see which one has the greatest yields. And then we can make some informed decisions about where to keep all of our Carver tokens. That's all for today, folks. Thank you for watching and goodbye.